In today's video, we're going to learn how to create that iconic 2000s quality. By the end of the video, we're going to master that old low quality look. I'm going to show you guys a way how to do it without plugins and a way how to do it with plugins. So first, we're going to create a new composition. We're going to change the width to 426 and the height to 360. And we should have this square look. So once we have our clip, we're going to duplicate it twice. One, two. Now we're going to go to toggle switches and modes until we see the blending modes. And we're going to change the top clip and the last clip to luminosity. And the clip in the middle, we're going to change it to color. So for the first effect, we're going to add brightness and contrast to the middle clip. And we're going to adjust the brightness to around 15 or so. Next, we're going to add some noise and we're going to change it to around six and also add in a directional blur. We're going to change the direction to 90 and the blur length to around 30. Now we're going to click on our top clip and we're going to add the effect called noise. And we're going to change the amount of noise to around 5. And we are also going to put in the effect called black and white. Now I'm going to hold shift on the keyboard and I'm going to click on black and white. Make sure both of them are selected. We're going to copy it by pressing control C and press control V. And for our last clip, we're also going to add in a directional blur. Change the direction to 90 and the blur length to around 7. Now we're going to select all of our clips by clicking on one of them, hold shift and click on the rest. Right click and pre-compose. Make sure this option is selected. Click OK. And we're going to add in a adjustment layer by pressing Ctrl Alt Y. And we are going to add the effect called Fast Box Blur. Put the blur radius to around 0.1 and make sure Repeat Edge Pixels is selected. Now we're going to add in Unsharp Mask and we're going to put the radius to around 2. And that should be the base look to the low quality look. And we can also go back and tweak with the settings to your liking. So first, we're going to add an adjustment layer by pressing Ctrl Alt Y and we're going to add hue saturation to that adjustment layer. Now we're going to go to the master saturation and we're going to put it to around minus 40 to minus 50. That way we can get that super cool washed out look. Now I'm going to click on the little drop down so we can close that off. And now I'm going to add in the effect called S underscore warp waves. As we can see, it looks super ugly. And to fix that, we're going to go to the amplitude and we're going to change it to 0 0.001. And we're going to change the frequency to around 155. Right below it is the angle and we're going to change it to 90. Now I'm going to click on the drop down and now I'm going to add in the paid plugin signal. First and foremost, we're going to put the signal strength to around 200. And we're going to put the hue noise to zero, the chroma loss to zero, and the sharpen to zero. Now we're going to click on the Luma drop down and we're going to turn this checkbox off because with it on looks really, really bad and ugly. If you guys want to save some time, I just released my new 2000s editing pack, which comes with 120 plus files. It's super cool and I think you guys should definitely check it out.